travelers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco and in this video I'm going to compare merino leggings or merino tights. So I have bought the swan dry ones which I've had for about five months, 100% merino. I have had them in black before and they got holes in them so I'm like right let me try the other ones. So as a New Zealander of course I love merino, I love sheep, I love that we can wear their wool and it is just divine. If you haven't seen my video on icebreaker merino underwear it's linked in the description box so check that out as well but these tights have not done that well i bought them in extra large because i'm like outbreak going comfy the last pair i bought were large but this is a suggestion that i've gotten bigger because i'm buying them online it's free shipping in new zealand i didn't think they're see-through and less than six months of wear of course down the seam which you would expect but I'm surprised how they run like tights. And now, because of these giant runs, and it's also on the other leg too, you know, because I'm such a big bodied person, it was fine while they were just small little holes like that. But then as they run, now I can no longer hide it. So when I'm seated, and if I don't have a long top on, then you can definitely see them. And I'm so sad because I really have, I've worn them a lot. And I have really enjoyed them. They're so warm. I wear them as is. I've definitely worn them in cold weather underneath jeans. If you've been following my channel for a while, you saw that I went to Romania. I wore these under my pants because it was the middle of winter and it was freezing. So they definitely are, and I think that's very much what they're designed for, is to be long johns rather than worn as leggings. Ultimately, I am quite bleak because I do love supporting and using New Zealand brands. Like, it is a shame. It is really a shame because I think Icebreaker would m more focus on it being a base layer whereas I want it to do both. Anyway, it's time to say goodbye to these tights. Okay, so the next ones that I tried are these outdoor research ones. I got them in the size large. I bought them from Bivouac. Uh, I'm less impressed with these than they have the tiny little thing there by your ankle. But they do have a seam running down the front which was not clear on the website when I bought them and then there's another one down the back which goes right right around so these are not comparable really to the swan dry ones which are a hundred percent walls it's, it's winter and I want to be warm it's a pretty low rise which does not suit me either this band is much thinner but it's well below. I want it to be much higher. They do the job for leggings, but and they were much more reasonably priced. That's also why I got them. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below if I can find it. If you're interested to see which ones I've tried next, consider subscribing. I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. I think a plain pair of leggings are a great way to go and an awesome addition to any capture wardrobe like this. They fold so thin, they're warm, they go with anything. I wear these under my jeans or under a pair of pants if it's that cold. Or like today, you can see that I have got them just on alone and that's also fine. You can see that they pick up a lot of fluff just as I am standing around and then sitting on the carpet as well. So that is one of the problems with them. Also these ones, and I'm not the tallest person at all, but I don't think that they're the longest. For a cheaper option with a component of wool, they're okay, but I'm not satisfied. 